<laughs> yeah. It's just Destiny and I. We have three dogs. Elsa, Hurley, and Apollo. They're like our children. We love them. Hi, Hurley. Good boy. Mike and I met at a neighborhood restaurant. I was bartending there, and one of our friends suggested that he worked there. He ended up getting a job, and um, we became fast friends. Um, and eventually, started dating. I am the executive chef and general manager of the restaurant that I work at. My occupation is assistant general manager. It actually is the same restaurant group that Mike works for, so technically, Mike is my boss. <laughs> I really love that Destiny's so willing to openly love and show affection. Destiny has such a, an ability to make you feel good about yourself and you know confident that that you're doing the right things, uh, even when you're you know doubting or when I'm doubting my own self. She's really the the greatest person that I've ever encountered and she you know was able to bring that love out of me and show me that I really deserved to uh, be loved and to have somebody to love that much she's really a kind and genuine person what I love most about Mike is just his calming presence just he's my rock he's Everybody's rock. He's just so strong. One of those guys that you just you want to be around because he makes you feel safe and he makes you feel special and um, loved. And he's just got this calming presence about him. He's just my best friend in the world. We always knew we wanted to be parents. We got pregnant. And it was like a very, very exciting thing. We were engaged at the time. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the wedding. You know, like so excited about just being pregnant and being parents when we weren't even like ready. You know, weren't even like trying yet. And that's when I had my first miscarriage. It was one of those things like at that time I didn't even like, the idea of us not being able to have kids didn't even enter my mind. It was just like, oh, it's what people go through. You know, this is just, you know, it's just a bump of the road. We'll get through our wedding and then, you know, then we'll try again. We had multiple miscarriages uh, and an ectopic pregnancy, which was devastating. We were in ultrasound, you know, you see the little see arms, the, the legs, and then she said, oh, wait. And then she grabbed another doctor and, you know, and it was straight to emergency surgery. And because I'm annoyingly positive all the time, um, you know, try again and try again and try again. It's OK. And, you know, sometimes I was down and she, you know, stepped up and threw some positivity at me. And, you know, we would kind of reverse roles. Adoption always, it just felt right once we, once I accepted the fact that I wasn't gonna be able to have kids. We started talking to all of our friends and you know, finding out that many of them are adopted, are you know, somehow connected to an adoption somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we started to just get really excited about it. It was like that first time we got pregnant again and mm -hmm. you know, there was a hope, you know, yeah. we're gonna, I'll get to be a dad, she'll, yeah. she'll get to be a mom. You know, would have been the, biggest tragedy in the world if, if this <laughs> chick couldn't be a mom. I mean, it's it's what she's meant to do.
it just it brought a lot of light back into you know my life it was getting pretty dark there for a little bit is destiny available hi destiny this is rachel calling from american adoptions how are you Good. Hey, I have an adoption opportunity that I need to talk through with you and Mike. Is he available? Okay, awesome. Birth mom's name is Trinity, and she is from Colorado Springs. Her due date is um, October 6th, so coming up pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't know the, the gender of the baby. It's something that we've wanted for so long, it seems like, and uh, to be right here, and there, you know, it's, it's hard to put into words. Destiny and I got selected for, by a birth mom. Oh my God. <laughs> she's, and and she's, she's, she's due in one month. No, no. <laughs> I just keep thinking, like, I'm gonna be a daddy, and I'm so over the moon and ready for this. But my face hurts, I've been smiling so much. I'm excited for this new part in her life. I can't wait to see her as a wife, and even better yet, as a mother. <laughs> I'm so nervous that I'm gonna say something, and they're gonna be like, nope, <laughs> we don't Dad. like her, you know? Oh my gosh, yes, that is probably every single family's biggest fear. Think you guys are gonna be here for the labor or after? We we will do whatever you want us to do. Yeah, we don't want to intrude on anything that's important to you. I've been having like lots of anxiety. There's still room for this to get pulled right out from underneath us. Yeah. We were like in super freak out mode. She was being kind of standoffish, so I was like, this is it. You know, it's done. You know, I'm ready to be a daddy dreaming about babies. I can't imagine that my heart could ever feel more full. But I know that I'll easily surpass this once I get this little baby in my hands. All that pain and all that sorrow and feelings of not being enough. With just one single decision, she wiped all that away. It's gone.